Well, Senator, there's, a, there's an interesting, tension may not be exactly the word, but, <clears throat> but there, there are different things that different people are observing at the same time that all seem to be interrelated. And what I mean by that is that even the current political atmosphere reflects that there's a tremendous amount of anxiety on the parts of a really large number of Americans. Some of them then turn uh, in the politically turn to the right uh, in the sort of security they're looking for. Some are turning now far to the left. Uh, those are probably related to one another. So are things going in a great direction? Are they going, uh, going south somehow? Well, Doug, I think what Philip has pointed out in America's moment is that we're going through a really dramatic transformation. And I'm not sure we can, there's good parts of it and there's bad parts of it. But if we think back, I, I think just within the last 100 years, I mean, my dad worked for the same firm for 40 years Never made a lot of money, but he was guaranteed if he got hurt, he would get unemployment or disability. At the end of the time, if he got sick, there would be health care. And then you know, when he retired, there would be a pension. In effect, it was almost the uh, defined benefit era. My era as a baby boomer was the more kind of the 401k generation. Technology was changing, globalization was changing, but we still had some sense that a job was we might move from job to job, but it was still a set of responsibilities and there was some level of a social contract. What we're seeing now in the 21st century, and people think about the Ubers or the Airbnbs or the Handys or Lyfts, and this is just the beginning of, of a whole movement that is actually able, where people can monetize on their own time, their time, their apartment, their car, their parking spot, in ways that are fairly transformative. On the good side, it creates enormous freedom and flexibility. That quite honestly, as a policymaker, I'm not sure I fully appreciate how much and how far people will go to have that freedom and flexibility over their lives in a very complicated time. On the other hand, it also creates the lack of any social insurance. So all those things that came with my dad's generation and I had partially, the millennials as they go through this transformation may or may not have. And before this issue gets broken into whether it's all good or all bad, there is a real chance if we lean in to, in effect, reimagine the social contract in a 21st century way. And I think many of these companies realize that investing with their workers in a way that may be different in the 20th century, but really could be transformative. You see, Doug, all the institutions that Senator Warner is talking about, those weren't, the, weren't handed down in the Bible and the Ten Commandments. We built those institutions. We built them mainly in the first half of the 20th century. We built them to make industrial society work. So now, what are the institutions we're going to build in the first half of the 21st century to make this economic revolution work? Now, um, bad news. The bad news is the national conversation isn't talking about this at all. On the left, America's going down the toilet. On the right, America's going down the toilet. You know what? A lot of America isn't going down the toilet. You can read it in our book. You can read the absolutely marvelous new cover story of the Atlantic Magazine by Jim Fallows. We actually visit a lot of places in America, and Americans don't know that there's a whole part of northern Mississippi that is coming alive with opportunity in education and new jobs in advanced manufacturing. Northern Mississippi. They don't know about the aerospace industry in Wichita, Kansas, or the aerospace hub in Duluth, Minnesota. They don't know about all these places in flyover America that are innovating and creating new chances. So you have a conversation nationally and on the TV shows about the right and the left that's actually missing the real conversation where lonely leaders all over America need to know that this actually combines into a melody and a chorus that all Americans can share.